Hello everyone, I'm Rafix and here we are in my Minecraft Vanilla Customized World. Uh, here we are in my first disc that I ever built and you might notice that it's looking a bit bare. If you haven't noticed, that probably means you haven't seen the first episode or the, the episode in which I built this. Uh, so I suggest you go and check that out, it can't hurt. But it used to have a whole bunch of chests along this wall that was a, you know, carrying all my stuff. I had, That was where I was set up and this is where I was living in this disc. And I had my furnaces set up and I had all my stuff in those chests. So I was set up, I was good. In the last episode, I built this, and this is my storage barn. This is, uh, that's, now yeah, that's where all my stuff lives, so, you know, there's no need for these chests in here anymore. I've only got one left in here, and that's just for the, you know, my tools and stuff like that. And I was thinking I could turn this into a blacksmith, I guess, because, you know, I've already got my armor stands, I've got, uh, you know, the furnaces and anvils and crafting benches. I mean, you know, that's, it's, this is pretty much already done. I've just got to, you know, touch it up a bit more, put a bit of lava in here, you know, get a bit of heat going. Uh, but I think that's going to be a good blacksmith there, so yeah. Um, now this is my enchanting room, we've, we've seen that one before, I haven't made any changes in there, but there are a couple changes down here, and if you've noticed, that is a new floor. Um, so I'll take a quick look out here, and we'll see, we've got a new disc over there, and a new disc over there. Yeah, I kind of, you know, just did my thing with Minecraft, and just started building and come out with these so I you know wanted to show them off while I'm um, while I'm here and I thought you know this is content that I did between episodes so I wanted to make sure that at least you've seen it so you know perhaps I don't flash my camera and you see it in the background you're like oh hang on what's that I haven't heard about that before uh, but yeah this one is it's themed kind of yellow and green for a kind of specific reason uh, lots of yellow and green in here, and especially this sand and sugarcane, yellow and green. <laughs> so this is my automatic sugarcane farm room thingy, I guess. And uh, it hasn't been on all that long. I, you know, haven't built this all that long ago, so, you know, it's just kind of going. Um, but I will mention also, and this, you know, I kind of am looking for help, but, you know, I kind of don't mind if I don't get help. It doesn't matter. Um, but as you can see here, these pistons are extended, and they shouldn't be because... Um, well, they kind of shouldn't, kind of shouldn't at the same time. This is all on a bud switch, and it's that is obviously waiting for a block update to revert back to the normal state. And if I maybe take out that block, it might update it, and then it will update the whole line. Um, but yeah, but what usually happens is this line here is also connected. So the way that it works at the moment is I've got a furnace with a sand block next to it underneath, like with a piston. Um, and a comparator on the other side of the sand block. 14 items in the furnace, and then that's enough to send the signal all around. And then I send, I've got a repeater obviously to push the signal along to this corner over here. And then I've got another repeater to push the signal all the way along to here. Now this is, they're all worked off in the same circuit. Um, however, these ones work normally. They work just fine. But after the repeater here, it seems to do this. And it works, it does it for both sides. And the only way, so what's going to happen here is nothing grows. But the only way that these, these ones can get fixed is if something grows here. So something will grow there, they'll push off, block update, push back, and then these ones will just go back because block update. So yeah, if anyone's got a fix for that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Leave that in the comment section below. But if you don't, you know, I don't mind. Like, it's not a big thing. I'm not going to cry about it much. Um, so yeah, here's another room. <laughs> um, and I was thinking, you know, I did this room first actually, and I liked uh, doing this. Uh, it doesn't do much for support. I guess, you know, you know this is nether brick fence, but, you know, so it's a bit stronger, but, yeah, obviously the wood one over there, I, I don't think this would support, like, it wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't support, but that's fine, I think it just really looks nice, you know, and there was an, a good view, there's a better view here than there was uh, out of the glass, so, yeah, now this room is very nether themed, we've got uh, quartz, nether brick, glowstone, lava, brewing stand, which is um, blaze rods, and we've got... Uh, I said quartz, <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of nethery type stuff. I always figured because brewing stand, you have to go to the nether to get the blaze rod, then, you know, it's it's a nether theme, so, yeah. Um, you know, just got my simple setup with the cauldrons here and some stuff in chests. Um, now, I wanted to have an infinite water source in here, which is what this is. There's one here and one there, um, but I wanted to make it look nice, you know. I couldn't have it down the bottom. Um, because then you would have the slabs around it and then half the water source block would be poking out above the slab so and that just kind of wouldn't make sense so you know I thought what if we do it down from the top that would look pretty cool and I could just take it out from there and then I thought well I could just put three in the bottom here and I can just take them from the bottom still but it would be masked by the fact that there's water falling down onto it 
So, yeah, I thought that'd be a bit different, and I went for that, and then I thought, well, I'll do lava ones as well. <laughs> um, and this has got balconies, which is quite good, but these are very unsafe. You can fall off. Oh, I could probably land in that water there. Um, so I might survive that fall, but over on here you wouldn't. But yeah, this this room's got quite a good view. But uh, I built this room specifically for today's episode, I suppose. <laughs> Not to show off what it is, but um, you know, I thought you know I'll show you off now, and you know you can see it, and you know this is something else that I've done. Um, it is a bit bare; it does need a bit more work. I do understand. <laughs> I do know that. But I've brewed some potions because I am going to be doing a very, very tough fight today. Well, it's probably not very, very tough. And there are ways to glitch this fight. I am aware of that. But I would like to do it normally. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to grab one thing. I kind of kind of stood back and went um, before I started the episode and went, Oh, have I got everything? And then I looked around and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's all good. And I kind of went down there and I was like, okay, we're going to start it out. And then I was like... Oh, hang on a second, I did forget something, so I come back up just before I start, and I thought, you know what, I'll start up here and I'll show off those uh, those things that I've I've been working on, or that I've done, rather. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that they've got a little bit more work, but, uh, you know, I think they're pretty good. Uh, we'll just make it out of black, why not? I wish that could change the colour of the sheets, but I wanted a bed down there. Um, I've made a room down in my mineshaft, specifically for Wither Fighting. Um, now, before I go and see it, obviously, I want to mention that it's not... It, I didn't build it with the intention of holding the Wither in, um, if that makes sense. Like, I understand that the Wither is going to blow its way out of it. Um, should that... Like, if that's going to happen, that's going to happen. There's no way I can stop that. And I'm not intending to do so with what I built this room out of. Just so everyone's aware, so that they don't go, oh, well, you know, you can't stop the wither with those so you know it's not going to do anything that was silly i did it because well here we go it's just down this room you can see it there it's iron blocks i did it with iron blocks because i got the iron farm and i got so much iron and i thought why not um i built it in this location because i figured um that we're pretty well safe from lava i can hear some around but i don't think it like i can hear some around here but i don't think it's underneath and that's what i'm i think is important i suppose uh i should have brought down a chest as well, but, you know, yeah, <laughs> guts of glory, I suppose, we'll just, we'll go in for the fight and we'll make it happen, so, <laughs> I'm going to go in and make sure I do it, otherwise, uh, well, <laughs> I'll lose some stuff, right, I just want to get, get things together, um, I'm going to put, I'm going to put him right in the center of the, center of the room, come on, there we go, yeah, I can hear lava, but I'm, I'm not sure, I think it's over that way a bit more, like a few blocks, so hopefully he doesn't push me back that way. So I might run out that door and then come back in after he blows up for the initial. Um, yeah, so I know this isn't going to stop him, so you know, don't try and correct me on that. Um, I'm going to drink night vision, just to make sure we're all good. I can see everything. And what have we got? Strength, regen and healing, just in case. And I've got my very, very powerful apples. <laughs> um, all right, I think I think we're about good. I'm a little bit nervous. I haven't fought, fought a wither in a long time, so you know it's it's uh it's something that I've not necessarily been looking forward to. But yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's do it. There we go. Bang! It's go. It's happening. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna drink the strength. Wait for that explosion. Maybe I'm gonna drink the regen as well. Actually, on the start, because I've, I've I've got the healing and I've got the um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wow, he's taking Yeah, he's going down. That's it. That was easy. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to drink the healing because why not? <laughs> yeah, that worked. Yeah, that worked it well. Um, you know, so like I was saying, this, this room is. Uh, it didn't blow up too badly, but pretty much I just go along and just fix up the damage he did. <laughs> And then I can reset it for another Wither fight if I go and get that. Uh, get some more skulls, sorry. So, you know, this was my intention. I didn't intend for it to be withstanding and to just take the force of the Wither. Because that's ridiculous. As far as I'm aware, and correct me if I'm wrong here, it can just blast through Obsidian. So, you know, it's not going to do much. But there we go. We got the Nether Star. So... I'm quite happy about that. I haven't had a Nether Star in a couple of worlds, actually. The last couple of games that I've been playing, uh, I'm not going to eat that because there's no reason to. 
I'm just I could, I, could, I could have probably eaten it I was gonna set my spawn but I didn't actually do it so yeah let's go back up top and craft uh, but like I was saying I haven't actually had a wither star um, a wither star nether star in quite some time um, it's the last world that I was in we we uh, I think one person out of the six or seven people on the server at the time had the three wither skulls and none of us I was too busy building big things like I built the iron farm for the server and uh, a friend of mine and I were also building a five by five tunnel that goes for about probably three and a half thousand blocks just to link up his base and my base with an underground rail system <laughs> it took a long time and of course like I said we didn't have a beacon so you know it took ages we just had to rely on our efficiency five um, pickaxes and hope for the best and we we blasted down the first thousand pretty quick because we did it together but then after that the the longest because the first thousand or so got us to a corner and then that's when we would turn and go towards my place and then I was about two and a half thousand blocks away from that corner so yeah it took quite a while to get there um, now let's see if I remember correctly on how to make a beacon that is what we're going to be doing and I expected that this would last a lot longer than it would uh, than it did so I think I might uh, throw this down as a quick episode between between the normal rotation that I usually do uh, okay so obsidian I don't have a chest for that so I think it's in here it's not there, there we go, oh, I got 26 obsidian, that's good, I didn't need it all, but that's okay, um, yeah, so I think I might just throw this down as an in-between episode, because I was thinking it was going to last a lot longer, I just wanted to fight the wither, uh, have that as an episode, and see how I go, I could have gone a lot, it could have gone really bad, but uh, there we go, we've got a beacon, and uh, pretty happy about that, that's, uh, that's going to do nicely, now, yeah, <laughs> There we go. Alright, uh, I don't... I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna go get my silk touch, just in case. I'm a bit scared about that now. <laughs> I don't want to waste it. Uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna throw this up one during, uh, throw this up during the week uh, sometime for anyone who actually follows my kind of schedule. I seem to be releasing um, episodes on what would be for me Saturday mornings, but it's I kind of intend to do it, over, uh, upload overnight and publish on the Saturday morning just so that it's up by about Friday night for usually the rest of the world. Here in Australia we're a little bit ahead so yeah it uh, it pays for me to do it or well, to think of it like that so but yeah um, I'll do it during the week sometime we're going to be a little bonus episode so if anyone is looking out for that then you know cool that sounds good to me. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryfix, and I shall see you all later. Probably on Friday night. <laughs> see ya.